my name's Holly Jade, and I'm here with... <laughs> if you had an opportunity to get a message across to a large amount of people, what would it be? Who are the large amount of people? My fans, right, okay. Um, I mean, right now, probably the EP's coming out, uh, and I don't know, all the work that we've been doing for the last kind of like six to seven months is kind of coming to a place where we're about to kind of launch, if you will. So, yeah. What's your I don't even know, I mean, uh, the most kind of interesting and kind of, not mind-blowing, but when we released the EP recently, the, it, like after so long, after the voice of the it's, uh, it's done quite well in the charts, which made us or me, uh, extremely excited about it actually being released and, uh, and us kind of pushing forward with the music. So yeah, I guess, I guess seeing a kind of payoff, if you will, after all this time is, uh, is probably the best thing to find. From what? From that particular? Yeah. That, I mean, a hard work kind of pays off, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, not to hesitate on it, like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, so why not continue to keep getting better and better at what I do and enjoy it and, yeah, just try and make people enjoy it and uh, listen to music. What song lyrics means the most to you? My lyrics? Any song lyrics. Any song lyrics. Um, I mean, there's one lyric of my lyrics, there's one lyric that I, I wrote when it was kind of the first song that I ever wrote that I was like, oh, you know what, I feel like I might be able to be a songwriter. And I've got it tattooed up here, which is, um, because you changed my life and now I smile at life. And that was just one of the lyrics from the song that I was, that kind of stood out to me and the thought behind it. It's now actually a song I don't use, but it was that moment where I was kind of like, oh, you know what, I feel like I can do this, you know yeah. what I mean? So that kind of, that, that was a, that was a good lyric. Um, or a lyric that I, I feel quite special to me. Um, I mean, there's so many lyrics. There's so many lyrics that I love. There are a little group of bicycles coming in. Um, um, I don't know. There's there's so many lyrics that a lot of Bob Marley. I can't remember the exact lyric, but it means so much. It's such a cool lyric that I'm going to sound awful not actually knowing what it is. Um, and it's something like, ah, uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to get it wrong, so I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it's obviously not a favourite lyric of mine. But, like, yeah, I'm all about lyrics, so, so that's the end of my sentence. What keeps you motivated? Getting better, I guess. Like, I spend so much time playing guitar, like, so much time. In fact, a lot of my time writing, playing, and kind of enjoying music is spent from kind of 12 o'clock at night to, like, 5 in the morning which is when I'm kind of on my own and that's kind of the time where songs just kind of write themselves in a sense. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess I guess getting better and seeing yourself, like, from the voice, my guitar playing has got so much better and I stopped smoking as well when I, when I finished the voice. So I was like, if I need to, and this is kind of my, it's an instrument, do you know what I mean? Up until that point, I was kind of like, um, but, yeah, now, like, seeing an improvement is definitely motivation and it makes me kind of be like, yeah, I, I, Back and change anything from your journey. Um, in my journey, not so much. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, I've, I've had a, I've had a great time, and I, I'm continuing to. And I mean, it's just about to start. So, it, in that sense, I don't really know yet. But um, I guess in school, I, w I feel like I should have listened a little bit more. Maybe not listened a bit more, but like I, I feel now that. I'm getting to a point where I'm like, wow, there's so much that I could know, and I don't, because all I know is music, right? That's kind of all I do, and uh, I wish I kind of knew a lot more, but I mean, that's kind of made me who I am, do you know what I mean? So, I don't know, maybe learn a little bit more. In fact, no, I'm currently learning French. I wish I learned French properly when I was at school. I've literally got, I've got a French lesson tonight. So, yeah, French. <laughs> In the next two years, Um, put the music out there, like write more music, get better, uh, meet incredible people, 
learn, learn. Do you know what I mean? Like learning is the one thing that's made me be like since I started and left voice like is understanding how much there is to learn. Like there is literally there's no extent of guitar playing. There, there really isn't. And vocally, like there's so much you can do and so much. Like these days, you've got to be interested. You've got to, be, you've got to do something different. And, and yeah, I guess just kind of. I don't know, crafting, I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, crafting what, what I do. How much of your life and background has influenced you to write? To write? Oh wait, are you asking, explain it a bit more. <laughs> like, how much of your life and your background is in, is in my music or not, or, or how yeah. much of that has pushed me to do this? Yeah, like has it influenced you more to do writing? Uh, not so much writing. I mean, like my my whole family is pretty musical. Like my dad, my dad used to be a recording artist, and my mum's been musical theatre for her whole life. And so I've always been in music. I've always sung that. I literally don't remember a time I didn't sing. Um, so yeah, I guess so. Writing wise, not particularly. Like, I've never really. It was only when I hit like 19, 20 that I was like, oh, in fact, there's a like, there's a whole thing that I haven't experienced and haven't kind of dabbled in. So yeah. Um, Writing not so much, but, but the whole musical aspect of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you could collab with anyone in the scene right now, John Mayer. Why? Incredible, just God. <laughs> he is everything. John Mayer. And he would never, ever, ever collaborate with me, but well. John Mayer, yeah. What is your motto in life? Like, what motto do you live by? I mean, don't, don't change for nothing, don't change for no one. It's, yeah, I, I'd, I'd even put that towards music. Like, there's a lot of people who start writing music and like, you're like, wow, okay, that's, that's incredible. And then as it continues, they get a little bit more trying to please people. Yeah. Whereas I think it's cool to be yourself, do what you enjoy, do what you, what seems natural, what seems like you, do you know what I mean? Be you. <laughs> what is currently on your playlist? My playlist? Every John Mayer album there ever was. Casey Musgraves, who's literally just dropped her um, new album. Uh, Alan Stone. Um, who else? Let's put my phone on shuffle and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Uh, Ricky, oh, Ricky Lee Jones. Jesus, wow. She's amazing, but she's old school. And I only recently just found out about her, but um, Stevie Wonder, she's a really nice job. But yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know, something like New Orleans Jazz Festival, Montreal Jazz Festival, something like underground, there's not underground, but like interesting, like a cool place, just like there's music there, so I mean it's real music, musicians who know their, their craft and um, something like that maybe. Um, but I mean hopefully that will come to that. Other family UK, where else would you love to take your music? America. Um, I actually feel sometimes that my music not suits America more but I feel like it might be I don't know it's quite there's like essences of like country and like folky kind of things in there. And I mean, a, a lot of the time in America, the uh, number one in America is like really like a country song or something like that. I mean, not too much anymore, but yeah, America's definitely America. And what is next for Matt? Matt. Matt. Um, gigs. Um, they're releasing the EP. Um, I mean, I'm writing again, which is amazing. Because for the last five months, we've been doing this EP, and obviously I've been writing along the way. But the whole focus has kind of been on getting the music out there, which is um, obviously now on its way. It's on iTunes. We're kind of not done with it. Obviously, we need to. I'm going to keep pushing forward with that. But I, I can write again now. I feel comfortable writing, and being like, oh, I've got time to write. Yeah. So, getting more music out there, really. And where can people follow? Best thing to do is www.maxmoney.com. It's the best place to go. It has everything on there. Um, other than that, if you want to be direct, Twitter is Maxmoney7, uh, and then Facebook is Maxmoney Music. 
they should really all be the same, but they're not. Um, YouTube forward slash Max Milner. Yeah, just kind of maxmilner.com is the place where you can get most of the